Welcome to Bench Talk. I'm Lou Laurent. In this session, we will look at the steps necessary to remove the top case on the new MacBook. If the system has been running, make sure that you allow it to cool off for 30 minutes before you open the computer. The first component that you take out will be the battery. The next component that you take off will be the RAM door or L bracket that sits inside the battery bay. It is held in place by three captive screws and requires a zero Phillips screwdriver for removal. With the L bracket removed, you will see two levers on the inside of the battery bay. Each of these levers releases one stick of RAM from inside of the unit. The battery bay also gives you access to the hard drive. To remove the hard drive, loosen the white tab attached to the hard drive. Place the unit on a flat surface and pull out the drive. It comes out quite easily. With the battery, RAM, and hard drive removed, you can now remove the top case. Position the computer with the right edge of the computer facing. Remove the two screws on that edge using a Phillips number zero screwdriver. The corresponding two screws on the left edge do not need to be removed. Next, remove the screws from the back of the system. The outside screws are short and the inside screws are long. Next, there are three screws to remove from the bottom case. There are two long screws and one short screw. Next, you need to remove more screws from within the battery bay. There are three screws inside the inner edge of the battery bay that need to be removed. If you find a screw is loose but it does not extract easily, press down on the case and this should loosen it. In the battery bay, remove the two screws that are on both outer sides of the battery connector. Do not remove the two screws that are closest to the battery connector. On the outer edge of the battery bay, you will see a long row of number zero Phillips screws. You do not need to remove all of these screws. Counting from left to right, remove numbers 2, 4, 7, and 9. The following should help you remember this. 2, 4, 7, 9 loosens the top case every time.
Now you open the system. Be sure to hold the top case gently as you do so. Now you're ready to open the clips that hold the top case in place. To do this, use the credit card-like tool or a black stick, or you may find you need to use both. Be very gentle as you do this. You do not want to break those clips. Once the clips are disengaged, gently lift the edge of the top case. You will see a cable running from the keyboard down to the logic board. Be careful not to break this cable. The cable is held in place with a clip that you can open using your black stick. Once the cable is disconnected, you've completed the removal of the top case. As you can see, the clips that hold the top case in place are not captive. It's important that before removing the optical drive, those clips be pushed back out of the way. This concludes the take apart procedures for the top case on the MacBook. If you have a comment about this podcast or any of our other podcasts, please email us at svc.trng at apple.com. This has been Bench Talk. I'm Lou Laurent.